SCP-054 is called Blue Fear or the Great White Shark Wave. This one's by Dr. Bob and the thumbnail looks really interesting, almost like a water wave that has the jaws of a shark. Not really sure what it does, but ocean ocean SCPs are kind of freaky, right? Because you never can see what's down there, and I don't know. There's there's a lot of undiscovered ocean territory, so it just it kind of goes along with it. At any rate, guys, this one is by Dr. Bob. Make sure to subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos, and let's get into this. A teenaged boy and girl are sitting on surfboards, okay. gently bobbing up and down in the calm ocean water. See, you can't see nothing This surfing there. trip didn't turn out nearly as exciting as they had hoped it would. Uh, so with yet. no waves in sight and the pair growing bored, they decide to head back to shore. Wave. Just as they're about to start paddling back, though, Here we go. the girl gives one last look and spots the water swelling There's in the a distance. Wave. She calls out for her friend to stop. It's not a regular It's just one. what they've been waiting for. Waves are coming in, and big ones, too. They can see that they're going to break at the perfect time. All Maybe right. This trip will turn out to be a good one after all. You gotta start swimming the boy and catch tells it. the girl that she can have the first one, and she starts paddling to catch ah, it. Ah, they not both she doing it? She pops up on her right. board just as the wave breaks, riding it expertly towards the shore. Nice. As the boy does the same. I always wanted to learn how to surf. We they never have really had any around here. Riding wave after Louisiana. wave, <laughs> each one coming in bigger and stronger than the last. Sure. The girl starts to worry, though, that they might be getting too big and fast. Uh, As the girl finishes surfing yeah, another perfect wave, she looks back at the boy just in you, time to see him wipe out on an especially tall one. Right. He and his board are pulled beneath the water and both uh -oh. disappear under the breaking wave. She okay. hops off her own board and stands in the waist-deep water, watching for her friend to emerge. Scared but he music. doesn't. She scans the horizon and calls out for him, but there's no sign of her friend. Uh oh. She's getting worried. He should have surfaced by now. Sure. She doesn't see any sign of him or his board. What's going on? The board either? Who? That's... The girl jumps Excuse with me? fright and turns around. The wow. boy is standing behind her. But how did he get there? Suck. He tells her that the last wave was a crazy one that must have pulled him and his board under the water towards her. You got a little he's bit of blood on your shoulder, anything tea. quite like it. But he's fine now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. The girl, still trying to catch her breath from the fright, gives him a playful punch on the arm and recommends that they call it a day. Okay. The waves are getting stronger, and if he was pulled under once, then who knows what would happen right. if one of them wiped out. I've been pulled table. under before with Besides, big current, the boy and looks that's like he scary, might have hurt man. himself. And the girl points at a small cut yeah. on his arm that's starting to bleed. What's the boy tells that? her that it's only a scratch, and insists on catching one more sure. wave before they head home. It was home. just a dot. He doesn't a want to ago. miss this opportunity to ride these great waves when they have the Don't whole do ocean it, man. to themselves. Don't do he it. He tells her that she can head back if she wants, but he's going out one more time. The boy starts to paddle back out, and the girl reluctantly follows him. Okay. As they wait to catch a wave, she tells him that this time he can go first. She's not going to let him scare her right. again. The boy promises no more surprises and goes to catch another wave. The waves are coming faster now. Right. She's able to get on one right behind him. As she surfs towards the shore, she keeps one eye on the boy. These waves are tough, and she needs to focus. Yeah. But her attention is drawn towards her friend. She sees something forming on his wave. Oh, you hear that it looks music? Like the water itself is growing out of the crest of the wave and oh, that's the, shark. the boy. It looks like the jaws of a shark. The girl screams the, heck? And the boy looks back, straight into the gnashing teeth of the shark reaching out of the waves. The boy yells in fear and falls, tumbling into the water just underneath the mouth uh -oh. as its jaws snap shut on his board right where he was standing, splintering it into pieces. The girl can't believe what she's seeing and stumbles huh. on her board. You better she go, girl. She catches herself but looks behind her just in time to see the same jaws coming out of the waves. You better go. Her. The boy emerges out of the water carrying his friend onto the nearly empty beach. Wow. He lays her down they in the sand, screaming for help as a few beachgoers start running towards them. No one has any idea what they could possibly do to assist, though. I mean, Both CPR? Both of the girl's legs have been bitten off at the thigh. Oh, my and God. And she was dead long before he carried her onto the beach. Bonjour. Today's file comes <laughs> from our friends at the French branch of the Bonjour. SCP Foundation. A frightening and dangerous aquatic anomaly that has been designated wow. SCP-054-FR, but is appropriately also known as Blue Fear. Blue Fear. SCP-054-FR is an oceanic phenomenon that has been observed occurring in several different regions Crazy. spread across the world. In these areas, of which at least five have been identified, Certain waves will display extremely dangerous anomalous activity. Yeah. The waves themselves will seem to physically transform, taking on a shape that resembles the mouth and jaws of a Carcharidon carcarius. 
a and species of shark breaks. better known to most Boards as the too, Great and White. Cuts. The yeah. giant shark mouth, which is full of row upon row of razor sharp teeth, will often sure. go unnoticed until it is too late for the unfortunate yeah. victim. With the roar of the powerful wave itself covering up much of the sound of the gnashing jaws right. as it attempts to bite the targeted individual. Crazy the SCP-054 FR phenomenon will only appear on waves in these areas that are at least four meters in height, but a maximum height so on which the really jaws big. will manifest has yet to be identified. Has to be really big. Then. Waves carrying the anomalous effect are changed in other ways too. Okay. Not only does a terrifying set of carnivorous jaws appear out of the water, but the wave will move faster as well. Yeah. With SCP-054 FR waves having been measured at rolling three times the speed of normal, non-affected waves. Gosh. The Very frequency fast. of just how often SCP-054-FR will affect waves is not well understood, but what is known is that waves will speed up when a human or non-aquatic animal is in the water between a wave instance and the coast. Yeah. The frequency of 054-FR waves will increase dramatically as well when individuals in the area are at least I 250 see. meters from the coast, and SCP-054-FR does not care Weird, which aquatic man. activities you're engaging in when it spots Doesn't you. Doesn't matter, jet ski and sure. surfing, canoe and swim. There have been documented cases involving casual swimmers, snorkelers, and divers, but surfers are, for some unknown reason, far and away the most likely victims. Uh, Observations have shown that non-aquatic animals are also at risk of huh, triggering weird. the effect, such as in the case of ducks. several seabirds that were seen Poor floating ducks. on the water just before an SCP-054 FR wave Poor crashed ducks. down on them. Get the eaten by the shark, leaving only blood and feathers floating on the surface where they once were. They got ducked. Even up. some aquatic vehicles, like jet skis and small boats have been observed being attacked by the anomalous shark jaws. And it can't, so it seems to avoid going after them? larger vessels. If uh, more than one person is present in the enough. area that SCP-054-FR is manifesting, though, then additional instances of the jaws are able to form, either on the same wow. wave or on multiple different ones in the area. The injuries caused by SCP-054-FR are very similar to those of a normal, non-anomalous great white shark. Gotcha. And the force of the jaws appears to be proportional to the size of the wave itself. Okay. With larger waves being more powerful than smaller ones. Sure, like smaller Victims sharks of versus larger Victims of 054 FR attacks have had entire yeah. limbs ripped off. Others were torn completely in half. Oh. While some simply disappeared beneath the wave as it wow. crashed down on top of them like and the jaws snapped shut. The only way to avoid being bitten or swallowed whole is to dive down under the wave before it impacts. Yeah. But the opportunity to do so is quite rare given the wave's ability to sneak up on its victims. Very, very and fast. And the injuries too. that are nearly always sustained from an appearance of SCP 054 FR are fatal in 68% God, of reported cases. The SCP Foundation first became aware of SCP 054 FR following multiple reports of shark attacks caused by great whites emerging out of the waves to attack humans before vanishing back into the water. Right. The Foundation soon began a series of experiments to try and better understand the anomaly. All right. The first test performed by Foundation researchers was quite straightforward and involved dumping large quantities of animal blood into the water in an area where SCP-054-FR was reported to have been attacking people. Just like with a normal shark, the blood seemed to act as a trigger for the anomaly, uh -huh. causing it to manifest in less than two minutes. And the researchers wow. watched as the shark jaws tried to bite at the blood as the wave rolled over. So it. that's what got the test was repeated, them but this the first time, time human blood was used guy instead. Had a little bit of this also caused instances of SCP-054 FR to appear on the waves, though now they manifested much faster, often showing minute. up less than one minute after the blood was dumped into the water. Wow! It seems that SCP-054 like FR has a strong preference for humans, or at yeah. least their blood. And only a small amount is all that is needed to cause the shark jaws to quickly appear. Right. Tests involving D-Class personnel have shown that wounded individuals are four times as likely to trigger a manifestation That's as an uninjured individual. To him. But that there are also ways to limit how often the carnivorous waves will appear. Okay. It seems that lying motionless on the water will significantly reduce how often SCP-054-FR will spawn. Okay. And slow body movements will decrease the likelihood of an appearance as well. Strangely, while blood will make the jaws manifest quickly, it is unlikely that it is because SCP-054-FR can smell it, since tests that have tried to disguise the smell of both the blood and the human test subjects have all met with failure.
Okay. So far, all attempts at damaging the anomaly have also been unsuccessful. Sure, it's water. Bullets fired at the shark jaws pass harmlessly through it, disappearing yeah. into the wave as if they were shooting at perfectly normal water. Sure. Given its nature, that is it seems crazy, unlikely man. that the Foundation will find a way to capture and contain SCP-054-FR. Exactly. Like, so that? for the time being, all containment efforts have been directed towards keeping humans away from it. Smart. A one-kilometer exclusion zone has been established around the five geographic areas where manifestations have been reported, and civilians are completely forbidden to access the areas under the guise sure. of there being ongoing research into marine mammal life that would be disrupted by the presence of any humans. Secrecy is of the utmost importance when it comes to SCP-054-FR yeah, in order to keep the curious away out, for their own safety. So any photographic evidence of the anomaly is confiscated and destroyed, yeah. and witnesses of an SCP-054-FR attack are given amnestics, amnestics in order to remove the memory of any anomalous shark attacks from their minds. You remember nothing. The Foundation also engages in an you extensive misinformation campaign to debunk any evidence of the anomaly. Spreading the idea that any reports of a shark mouth forming on waves are simply hoaxes or yeah, misunderstanding of wave dynamics, while attacks Kids are blamed on normal, non-anomalous great white sharks. It is unknown if the five areas the Foundation has contained make up the entirety of the locations where SCP-054-FR can manifest. Sure. But Foundation agents continue to monitor reports of shark attacks around the world. They have and to. hopefully. They will find that they were the result of the regular like oceanic Tarantino super predator, <laughs> and not the kind that can manifest behind you when you least expect it. That's right. Now that was a good one, man. That was a really good one. I don't know what I would do. You know, I've never been to deep ocean, but people that fish in salt water and stuff like that, they have to go pretty far out there. And the thought of not being able to reach the bottom of water and having creatures that are much, much more agile and able to act in the water compared to you is a sense of vulnerability that I never liked. I'm not scared of the ocean, don't get me wrong or whatever, but I'm kind of careful when it comes to stuff like that. At any rate, guys, this was pretty interesting. Make sure to go check out Dr. Bob's channel and subscribe to him. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Lil Jin signing off. We'll see you next time.